Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another inks comparison video. And this is my favourite orange inks comparison number one. So I think let's go and swab up some of these inks. So I get a lot of questions on how I do these ink videos. So I decided I would add this to the front of each of the ink videos. I put links in the description, but I know some of you watch this on TVs or mobile devices, so you don't get to see this. So first off, the paper is the number one question that I get asked. What paper do I use for these ink comparison videos? So this is the original Tomoe River. This is 52 GSM and it is the white, not the cream, the white. Where possible, I try to go for the white because the cream can actually change the color of the ink just a little bit. So this is Tomoe River 52 GSM in the white. Um, a lot of people get confused as well because I have what looks to be a grid on this page and it's actually an Oxford Optic pad. These are the pads that I actually use when I'm writing my uh, writing samples for pen reviews or in my currently ink. So they have these little squares up here. Uh, I just use that because it's a good guide for me when I put this very thin sheet of Tomoe River over. I can actually see squares so it helps me write a little bit sort of straight uh, on the page not always but sometimes it does the the other thing that i also have is a i have a bottle of water plain water and uh, i dip my nib in here so for consistency i use the same fountain pen or <laughs> I guess it's not a fountain pen. It's using a fountain pen nib, though. This is a 3D printed pen from William Shakur in the UK. So he prints this uh, material 3D, and it has a number eight size Bok nib, which I can unscrew, and you can see there. So it is just a dip pen holder for a number eight size Bok nib, and the idea is I want to have consistency with the writing sample so I use this I dip it in the ink uh, I write and then I will dip it in here and I will rinse the nib off several times and I will dry it and then at that point uh, I will then go on to do the next ink swatch and the next writing sample. So there you have it that's uh, how I do my ink swatches so I just wanted to show you uh, that here. Now on to the ink comparison video. So the first ink here on this ink comparison video is Sailor Gentle Apricot. Now this is a discontinued ink. It's been discontinued for a number of years. So if you manage to find a bottle of this, you will be very lucky. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And this is uh, quite a bright orange ink and this always was my go-to orange ink it was just a very beautiful bright orange ink so we'll do a second pass over the top half just to show the difference between what would be a wet or a broad or a dry or a narrow writing nib so this is sailor And it is gentle apricot. But that is a very, very lovely uh, bright orange ink. The next ink here looks very similar, but it's actually Sailor Gentle and it's Kin Makusai, which is the actual replacement for gentle apricot. So we'll do another ink swatch. And sometimes you can see very little difference between the two of these inks. And other times you can sometimes see just a slight difference. And sometimes it's just more in the sheen. So we'll do a second pass over the top half. And that will just show the difference between a wet or broad or dry and a narrow writing nib. And this is Sailor. And it is uh, gentle 
that I'm just going to actually I will put gentle here and then it's kin Makusai. now you can't get it in uh, these bottles anymore but you can get them in smaller bottles from sailor so you can certainly get the sailor kin Makusai, but not the gentle apricot the next ink here is a mont blanc ink and it's mont blanc limited edition lucky orange now one thing i do want to show you is orange inks along with brown inks can become a little bit crusty and you will see that there from this ink around the neck of the bottle and the threads there so if you do leave the ink inked up in a pen it is going to become a crusty nib So we'll do an ink swatch here. And again, this is another bright, vibrant orange. And this is, uh, again, another favourite of mine. Uh, I don't write with it as much as I should do, though. We'll do a second pass over the top half just to show the difference between a wet and a broad and a dry and a narrow writing nib. And this is Mont Blanc. And it's Lucky Orange. And I do still have a few bottles of this. It does come in a smaller bottle, but I should start using this a little bit more. The next ink here is Diamine Blaze Orange. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now, as you can see by the name, it is a fiery orange. And... I have to say that this is probably now my more go-to orange ink because it just is very, very vibrant. So we'll do a second pass over the top half just to show the difference between a wet and a broad and a dry and a narrow writing nib. So this is Diamine. And it's Blaze. And it's Orange. But that is a slightly darker orange compared to the first three and you can also hopefully see there that that bottle is, is quite empty it, it's about i'd say about a quarter uh, left on in that bottle the next one is a kwz orange so we'll do an ink swatch now this is more like you would see uh a, a lovely ripe orange. It's again quite a darker orange there. We'll do a second pass over the top half just to show the difference between a wet or a broad and a dry and a narrow writing nib. So this is KWZ orange. And then the last ink here is a Venvustus ink and it's Venvustus. Arancio Terocco. So we'll do another ink swatch. And you can see this is a much lighter orange, uh, a little bit more like the Sailor Gentle Apricot or Kin Makusai. We'll do a second pass over the top half just to show the difference between a wet and a broad and a dry versus a narrow writing nib. So this is a Venvustus. And it's Arancio and it's Tarocco. So I think let's now take a look at these inks now that they have dried. So the first ink here is Sailor Gentle Apricot. And you can see here, if I show you up close, this is a very nice uh, orange ink. Now, uh, can you see some shading going on? You can in the pooled area. Not a huge amount of shading, though, compared to some inks. Can you see the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib? You definitely can. Now, can you see any sheening? And I'm hoping I can get it on camera there. But yes, you can see around here, there is sheening going on. Uh, it's a little bit of a goldish sheen. Uh, sometimes you can get a lot with Sailor Gentle Apricot, sometimes not so much. 
But uh, I am seeing the sheen on uh, that ink swatch there. Now, its sibling, or it, its newest sibling, is Sailor Gentle Kin Makusai. So, unfortunately, Sailor discontinued Gentle Apricot a number of years ago. I think it was around about 2016. They brought it back, uh, and it was available just in the, the U.S. market around 2017, 2018, I was able to pick up a couple of bottles of Sailor Gentle Apricot, and then it was superseded permanently by Kin Makusai. So Kin Makusai is very, very similar. Uh, you'll see the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib. There is a little bit of shading going on. Again, not a huge amount. Um, can you see any sheen? Yes, there is a little bit of sheen there. Uh, it typically will sheen less. Uh, I normally find a little bit less than Sailor Gentle Apricot. But it is actually quite, uh, again, a nice orange ink. So if you don't have Sailor Gentle Apricot and you really do like that color, then try and get Sailor Gentle Kin Makusai. Or I think it's now just called Sailor Kin Makusai or Shikiori Kin Makusai. Because it is an almost identical ink, and it wouldn't surprise me if, honestly, the ingredients uh, and the mix of the ink and dye uh, is identical. Because it is very, very difficult to tell the difference in a lot of ink swatches. The next ink here is uh, Mont Blanc, and it's a Lucky Orange. And again, this is a limited edition ink. Uh, again, I think it's sold out. You cannot buy that anymore. So if you can find a bottle and you like this color, go pick it up. Uh, I managed to get, I think it was five bottles of this at one point uh, on eBay. Uh, and this was when it was already end of life. Uh, and I managed to pick it up for, I think at the time, a good price. So can you see the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib? You definitely can. Is there any shading going on? Yes, there is shading going on. And let me show you up close. You can see there in the pooled area. Is there any sheen? Now, yes, there is a little bit of a sheen over here uh, and around the edges a little bit. So uh, this is a little bit of a sheening ink. It's not a heavy sheening ink. Likewise, Sailor Gentle Apricot and Sailor Gentle Kin Makusai are not massively sheening inks. But you will get a little bit of sheen there. So when the ink goes on uh, and it's the, the water has evaporated from the ink when you're writing with it. So if you've left it in a pen for a few weeks or months and then you go to write with it, you're going to see that sheen there. The next thing here is Diamine Blaze Orange. And I have to say that this really is one of my go-to orange uh, favorite inks that I do write with a lot i think i've gone through four or five bottles of diamine blaze orange it's just a punchy bright orange that i find comes across well in the writing sample that you can see here now if i show you up close you can see is there a difference between a wet and a dry writing nib definitely there is uh is there any shading going on uh, yes, there is a little bit of shading. You can definitely see it more so in the writing sample. Is there any sheen? I want to say it's trying to sheen, but it's not quite getting there. Maybe a little bit around the edges here, perhaps, but not not a massive amount. It's certainly uh, not to the, the other three uh, inks worth of sheening. Now... The next thing here is KWZ Orange, and this is still a little bit wet, actually, just in the center here. Just having a real difficulty trying to dry itself out on the Tomoe River 52 GSM. Can you see the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib? You definitely can. Can you see any shading? There's a lot of shading going on here in the pooled area. Uh, can you see any sheen? Yes, there is sheen around the edges of the pooled area. And I'm pretty sure this bit here will sheen eventually once let to dry. 
but that is a uh, more of a, a darker orange it's only darker than diamine blaze orange and then the last thing here is venvustus and it is arancio tarocco and this is a slightly lighter uh, orange ink can you see the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib you can it's not as much as some of the other inks can you see any shading there's definitely shading going on in the pooled area is there any sheen there i want to say yes around here just around the edges of that pooled area of ink but again really not a lot of of, of sheening uh there so but it is a nice nice uh, light orange ink so if you are a little bit more biased towards a brighter orange then this might be the one for you so there you have it that's my favorite orange inks comparison number one video if any of these inks you like let me know in the comments below likewise if there are any other orange inks that you have or would like me to check out do let me know in the comments below and that's my favorite orange inks comparison video number one thanks for watching please like comment subscribe and i'll see you on the next pen video bye bye